you moved this whole building back here and then filled it with toilets yeah. in the 80s. Yeah. Dale come out of his motorhome, walked in the shop, said, Ron, he said, I need some, some rags. I said, some rags? <laughs> I don't know if I can get up there. <laughs> yeah. nah, I'm going to get up there. I ain't scared to drink it. We had to get rid of your old desk. It had some weird things living oh, in it. Oh, that desk could talk. You'd tell, you'd tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Am I uh, culturally appropriating anything? I'm digging up pieces out of here, and I think I'm going to be able to put this 76 back together. I miss it. Yeah, I miss it. I'd love to see another race here. I really would. Before I die, I hope I do. It's all about the dollar now. It ain't about the, about the race fans. So I'm driving to Rockingham right now pretty sure that the transmission is slipping in Uncle George. I hope whenever I get there and let this thing cool down that it acts okay enough just for me to get back. Because So we made it back to Rockingham with the man Ronnie talked about in the main tour video. How long have you worked here? Almost 30 years. Since what, like 1981, I think he said? Yeah. Wow. Jamie, where do you think we should go to get his yeah, well, his stories turning why don't we uh why don't we why don't we roll over here we figured out that the drag strips were still an airport when that building was built so when, when did the drag strips turn over i didn't know i had to remember all these dates y'all <laughs> <laughs> it had to be after that probably 97 98 mm -hmm. we built this i'm not exactly sure the date but I'm just guessing because Frank was dead and Chris got here. What was what was uh, here before this building? That was, uh, it was another building. So you, you tore it down in the concrete? It wasn't, uh, <clears throat> it was small. We tore it all down. So here's here's something I've always wondered. The, the cigarette signs, who printed those signs? Who painted them? Who printed them? Because it says, please put cigarette butts here, please. <laughs> It's somebody very, very polite. <laughs> yes, uh, we had a guy out of uh, Lumpton, Sammy Shackford. He was a sign painter here, and I'm sure he did that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he was the best sign painter around here. Mm -hmm. you, he was really good. He painted all our signs. Billboards, we had billboards all the way around. He kept them painted. He painted them by hand? Painted them by hand. Yeah. He put them stencils up like he did the grass. He painted the grass every race. Always huh. beautiful. Which one of these press box buildings is like the most original to the track from your recollection because we never went to the ones down there i'm wondering if there's any storage rooms or under areas or anything like oh, that oh well that... they they still sing uh we had one we had that building and that building right there with the only two here mm -hmm. right right there where the sweets is mm -hmm. that was original and that was original mm -hmm. and i'll show you something else that's original when we right after we built this building we took a dog, a German Shepherd, had him down yonder. We looking, they were looking for drugs. We hid some drugs in the bottom of that. Now, we didn't do it, but the, the other people did. He had some drugs down there in the cabinet. And they come down yonder and took that German Shepherd. And went all the way upstairs, brought him down here. He got there that cabinet, sat down and stuck his nose to the cabinet, just sat there. The drugs was in that cabinet. Why? Why did they do that? They don't want to see if there's any drugs up here. Oh. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, yeah, here they are. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. You see that right there? That's out of a tractor trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like awesome. The things that would go on the front of the trailer, That's like right. between it. Wow. Right. Mr. Dewitt took those and brought these down when he built this place. You see, this is one of the originals. It's just been redone, you know. And they work fine. <laughs> they may still work. I don't know. I ain't been up here. I'm long. pretty sure it works. <laughs> but I mean that's the type of thing we had to go through because we didn't have the money. The racetrack didn't have the money that Daytona would have or Talladega would have or whoever. They, we didn't have the money. And we were like a little old family. Mr. D, which, I mean we just, we, we just like the main office. They didn't have but nine or ten people working there. And there were two of us in the maintenance. I mean we had, a, we had to go. <laughs> <laughs> so that... This is cool. I can kind of. I can see. There it is. So that's that's original sixty five. That's right. That's been there since the very first cup race here. That's crazy. Well, let's go look at this thing. I wanna, I wanna look at it. Yeah, we didn't go up these buildings in the the full tour video, which you should go check out if you haven't seen that already. This is kind of like the. Um, wow. Yeah. So yeah, we got them all the way down. Made in USA. You know, it's old that way. <laughs> 
He had this done too, Mr. Dick, but his, his picked up our, he had a big farm in the middle. And they did all this. This this walkway here? Yeah, the welders, they, they brought the welders down here and made it bigger because it was real small back then. Huh. But this is one of the oldest buildings. We just remodeled it. When was the last remodel in here? Like what era is this carpet and stuff? When we built that building, we remodeled this. Okay. Mm. So like late 90s. We always hung plastic up to keep this carpet from fading. See how it's faded? Yeah. We always had to hang plastic up after the race to keep them from fading. That makes sense. That's what we did. You hang plastic over the glass? Over the glass to keep the sun from fading the carpet. Huh. Yeah. You see how it's faded? I mean, it, the, the front face of the stair is yeah. almost white. See how it is? <laughs> Yeah, it made it. It was red. What color? These, so these used to be red. Yeah, it was. It was red like that up yonder. But see, we wow. hung plastic here. Yeah. To keep the sun out. These chairs say September yeah, '99 on them. See the sun? It's okay. So was this carpet like red, red, or was that that salmon color back dark there? Red, dark red, right? Really? Up here, wow. Yeah. This so, all the way back up here. This, this is the color right here. Look right there. That's the color. Ah, uh, okay. That's the color. Right Wow. Yeah, this does look like 1965 wow. stuff. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Did you write any of this? <laughs> See, there it is. There it is. Right that's there. the semi truck thing. Wow, look at those. I don't even know what I'm looking at there, but it just looks like vintage. <laughs> well, there was a few little heaters yeah, that we cut them on in the wintertime to keep everything from freezing Here, up. Here's one. We couldn't afford the power bill on the other things, so we just put little heaters in like that. Most of these still work. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. And you can turn them on low, and they'd, they'd leave just enough heat in here from keep stuff from freezing up more. Mm -hmm. Because these ceiling tiles would buckle and everything else if you didn't. Keep your temperature the same. How did this place kind of getting removed from the cup schedule alter your life? If being part of this place for so long, and then it's just like not there. How did Pick my life. Yeah. I retired and it, 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 I miss it. Yeah, I miss it. I'd love to see another race here. I really would. Before I die, I hope I do. What do you feel when you look at all of this stuff again and think about those days when this carpet was still red and, and all oh, that? Oh man, it brings back a lot of memories. We had liquor and lock it up in there. And one morning, see, we had a, we had a rod go through there and had a lock on them. People would break into the cabinet and steal the liquor. Well, we started taking the liquor to the office, blocking it up in the safe, because it wasn't safe up here. It's different, it made my life different. I mean, I enjoyed working here. I mean, it's like I said, but back in then, back then when we were working, it wasn't, it wasn't all these politics and, and who got the most money or nothing like that. We, Mr. DeWitt started here from nothing, from scrap. Him and uh, the land, Mr. Land across the street. I think they were in on it now. Uh, so Mr. DeWitt was the guy who like built this place? Yeah, well they was, I think four or five stockholders did, did you know, I guess, I don't know. We said we owned the drag strip too. And we used it as an airport, like Davy Allison, and Bobby Allison, uh, Earnhardt, they'd have their own planes. They landed over there, and we'd shelter them, over, shelter them over here. We was in there one night at the shop, and uh, me and Earl was, and so everybody. Wait, he's, he's talking about that white door over there in the yeah, corner. That, that white that was door, his that was sitting at. That was my office. So on the right side of the shortest middle building there, yeah. on the right of the media center, that, that corner right there, there's an office space inside that shop and so that was his office we're gonna have to go there uh -huh. we should walk down there <laughs> i remember that with the tv on the ledge and stuff yep. yeah, yeah yeah there was a picnic table in there and that every friday night after the qualifying they'd go up big all the race drivers go up and party in pine i was sitting there one night and i let everybody punch out and earl garrison me and him was the only one left and i said you ready to go home he said yeah he said, can we have a beer before we go? And I had a little old water cooler that had some beer in it on I. So we punched out and we sat there and we drank us a beer before we went home. And by that time, that door opened. And I think the first one was Bodine. 
Then it opened again, it was Dale, Dale Earnhardt, and uh, he wanted to know the beer was. I said, it's in that cooler. I said, what are you doing here, Dale? He said, uh, I get tired of that mess up there. And he sat up picking that table and we was talking. He said, you know, he said, you ain't never asked me for my autograph. I said, I ain't never pulled for you. I don't want your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you can't win Daytona. He said, uh, one day I'm going to win Daytona. Well, three or four years went by, two or three years went by. I didn't think nothing else of it. He won Daytona. Well, Jimbo was his motor coach driver. They, Jimbo come in here that Monday, put his motor coach over yonder, and come over with a hat. And he, Dale had signed that hat. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> so I got me a rock hat, and I signed it. I didn't want your autograph. <laughs> I mean, we killed around like that, you know. I mean, it, he was he was jammed up, though. He was a good guy. He really was. That's cool that he remembered that. Like and he was he was that spiteful that two to years, two years to later, remember two years later. that. That's amazing. Yeah, That's amazing. I still got the hat. Really? Yeah. And uh, I need to see a picture so of that. My boss man said you don't ask for no autographs. Well, I didn't. Frank Frank was strict about that. He didn't want you us bother these drivers, you know, when they come, but give them everything. Well. Rusty and Dale, I don't know what year it was, they got into it at Daytona hitting. But Dale took Rusty out the last lap of the race, I think. Well, the next race was here. Well, right there with that tractor sitting yonder, on that pad, uh, we put three motorhomes. Yep. We put Rusty's motorhome, we put Darrell Walker's motorhome, and we put Earnhardt's motorhome. I come to work that morning, it was after all that mess happened in Daytona. Rusty was mad at Dale and uh, was in the shop there. I come to work about five o'clock. Dale come out of his motor home, walked in the shop, said, Ron, he said, I need some some rags. I said, some rags? He said, yeah, get me a handful of rags. I got a bunch of rags. We walked over there, I watched him. He unhooked the sore line from Rusty's trailer and <laughs> crammed them rags up in there. <laughs> Well, when Rusty, when Rusty took a shower, he flooded that motor. <laughs> I'll never forget that long as I live. Rusty come out there wanting to fight. <laughs> that was all, man. You just, kid, don't worry about it. He sure did. He flooded that. Man. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that is, we had some time down here to tell you, man. But them days are gone. I mean, yeah. It's all about the dollar now. It ain't by the, by the race fans. It, it's just... I'd love to see it happen again here, though. We need to go down there. Let's walk down there. Uh, mm -hmm. No, this ain't the original one. Goodyear put this up. Where's the original one? That's yonder in the barnyard. Sticking up. I made a box stand out of it. So the original flag stand, it's the very easy. first flag stand from Rockingham is being used as a... It's that yonder in the field. Oh, that's the one with the, with the ladder on it? The one I'd fit. I had that's no it. idea. That's the flag stand that was right here. Yeah. No Use the original yeah. flag stand for hunting. That's amazing. I had no idea. That's exactly what that is. Huh. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go back there too. <laughs> I didn't bring a notepad. Well, we got to drive by it now. Yeah. yeah we, we drove by it. We got to go to the boneyard got too. It. I'm all right. All right. Uh. I had to hand paint every bit of that one time. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I yeah. enjoyed it every minute. Look at these divots. They blew out their tires and went down to the rim. Isn't that terrible? You gotta, you gotta she was hot, it. buddy. She yeah. had that tire hot, did she? But see, the thing about the whole situation, about the track being rough, some of the drivers liked it, some of them didn't. Repave the racetrack, repave the racetrack. Then you go up to one, leave it alone. It's a racer's, it's a driver's track. That's what they tell me. It's a driver's track, leave it alone. What, what is Rusty but Wallace somebody else wants it paid because they didn't win, I reckon. Rusty Wallace said something about that. Tell them about that. Yeah. Rush just said to leave it alone one time. It's a driver's track. So now we're over pit wall going into the, what was the former welding shop slash your office. This is your, this is your spot. Yeah. That's it. That's awesome right there. Time clock was right there. I can't see them again. Remember picking and taking something? Mm hmm. Uh, there wasn't one when we got here. It's now, now it's that's my generator. Yeah. <laughs> All the cleanup guys that, that we had working, that I had working for me, uh, 
we met here because they had to have radios, you know, like the, the when they put the caution out for the oil spill or something. Everybody met here that morning. So which door did Dale Earnhardt come in looking for beer? That one? No, no, he, he pulled that door back. Oh, the big door. Yeah, and then the hole was for the cat. See the hole? Yeah. Out in the Rocky, we had a cat named Rocky. Had a little tail about that long. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the time clock still there when we did the tour? I don't remember yeah. those drills being there. Yeah, uh, I just put I just put all those up. The uh, the punch card thing is actually in the back of the safety mm -hmm. truck right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We had a TV up so we could see if a caution went out. Mm -hmm. the, everybody I had, they was on point. They was on the track, ready to go. Mm -hmm. and then sometimes we'd be here eating lunch, a few of us, and we had to take a break, you know, and we'd watch it on TV. If they had a caution, we'd take off, you know. Uh, everybody knew what to do. See this here? here. Yeah. yeah. It was over there. See how it's being up right here? Yeah. Well, my boss man, Mr. Will, Frank Wilson, we were down here, me and Earl been painting. And Frank wanted to spray paint something that was cold. He said a can of paint out of front of here and the heater was on. <laughs> but it was over there. <laughs> we was all outside. Well, he forgot about that can of paint. <laughs> <laughs> we come inside and we opened that door, that thing went off and it blew paint. <laughs> this thing here had paint all over it and bent it all up. What color was the paint? I believe it was blue. <laughs> Is there still like any remnants of it over there? Yeah. It's probably blue, but it blowed up, scared it. I thought you might drop the bomb. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm looking for evidence. Where all the magic yeah. happens. This is it. Mm -hmm. What is it? This was my little old We had to get rid of office. we had to get rid of your old desk. It had some weird things living oh, in it. Oh that desk could talk, you tell you tell you something. <laughs> Where was your desk? How was it set up in here? In this way, yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Is this your handwriting? Uh my handwriting right there on that old paper. I don't know what it is. Uh, phone numbers, man. <laughs> uh, phone number. Yeah. That's phone numbers. So you wrote all that? Yeah. Yeah, it says, it says Ronnie right there. Yeah. Wow. I've been here a long time, I'll tell you. Lord have mercy. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's oh, yeah. not very often you get to walk through a place like this and see something that's like really old on the wall and like, oh, I wonder who wrote that. I wonder what they're doing right now. He's like here telling us about it. That's the coolest <laughs> thing ever. Yeah, that's door Dale open. Him and maybe Brett Bodine and Rusty. Remember Bodines, right? There's a lot of Bodines. Yeah, <laughs> Is this cage thing original? We built that. Tools kept leaving. Somebody from my working on a car, they'd run in here and find a wrench and they needed it. Got where it come from. Hmm. We started losing tools, so we started locking it up. This is functional again. This is, this oh, is yeah. kind of our infield base of operations now. And we're fixing it up. It's a work in progress. We just started a few days ago. Well, the thing about us, we were so small. And if they needed me out there on the pit road or something, I mean, or in the grass, introduced. You know, we had to, we had a trailer where we pull out there and introduce the drivers on it. <clears throat> and, uh, if anybody needed me, I'd, I'd be around this area. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. on the outside, I had guys sitting like in the pump house over there and on that end. I had plumbers on each turn. I have a plumber in here. That way, this plumber ain't got to go through all that traffic to get over there. Huh. So we had one in the tower, one on each end, and one here. This man here took care of the whole infield. If sewer problem or water problems happened, this man was in here. So you had four plumbers on staff on like, during, the during, race. during the race during the race wow we had more than four we had about six or eight wow but we, we just put them out so we call them on the radio then you had because if you go out that tunnel during the race you might take you an hour to get around there with yeah. the traffic that's right we had people scattered to electricians also the kid in the campground uh -huh. down there on uh outside turn three yeah cut a tree down there at 177 and hit that line Oh. And that one line fed this place. Right. All right. the power went off. From then on, when they built that building, yeah. we had a generator sitting yeah, there that would crank that's, automatically. That's that, that, switch, that switch is a Yeah, floor. yeah, I love it. <laughs> if the power went off in about two seconds, then cost a lot would work. 
Yeah. No, I mean, it, we, we were wondering, what the hell is this plug for? And then we, we followed it, and we're like, oh, this is for a generator backup for the caution lights. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. You think there's anything in the other side of the welding shop that might have stories attached to it, like that, uh, that blown up heater? The Goodyear building, when I first came here, Goodyear worked out of here before they built the garage area. Goodyear huh. worked out of here? They worked out of here. Really? See, See this, this right here, that right there was 76 station. Huh. The gas pumps was right here. Really? Yeah, is that why this is right here, like okay. cut out? Right here with the gas pump. And that was a 76 where Johnny and him used all 76 and Unical used. And then Goodyear was in that building. Uh. So do, do you know Goodyear had their they... tires all out there. What was the reason for them moving the uh, gas pumps to the other side of the building? No, they moved them down yonder in the garage. Oh, they took these up, put new ones when they built the garage. So and then so they, they had them over there the at the end of the garage. Huh? They had them over by the end of the garage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay, the, that's where Unical moved to. I guess all that noise you're hearing in the background is guys tearing out those bleachers it's over there. Are those bleachers that are getting torn out getting replaced? Uh, we're gonna build out a like a big party deck kind of thing. Huh. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you like this? This we haven't gotten to this room yet. Mm. Orange door, yeah. That's Unical door. Was, that's Unical Orange. Yeah. Yeah, huh. T and N was here one time. And they were uh T and N was uh do some filming here and I because they had their own booth up on top so they shot a lot of commercials down here hmm. and uh when they have commercials they could put stuff up like that you know yeah you know, they supposed to take it off but they didn't commercials for what well like Budweiser had a commercial with uh Bill Elliott and uh they'd be at four o'clock in the morning watch the sun come up and Budweiser had a commercial uh they made that movie with Andy I forgot the name of the movie now that was a funny guy. What's his name? Will, Will Ferrell. Ferrell. Oh, Ferrell. Talladega Nights. Yeah. Uh, they was filmed here. Yeah. Part of it was filmed here. Some of it was shot. I think some of it was at Darlington or Daytona or something. Mm -hmm. But Andy crashed the cars right out there. Hmm. And he Hmm. He took care of all that. Uh, what'd you guys put in this? That was in the, in that building right there. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what was in there. Do you have any stories about Mark Martin? No, uh, I know one thing, he was very athletic. He was uh, he was a little fella, but he was a man now. I, I, I've seen him race a lot. He won a lot here. He was real good in the Bush Series. They couldn't nobody touch him here. He, I mean, he was just he was very smart. I was wondering if you had any, uh, any stories like him shoving a rag into somebody's RV sewer pipe because he's gonna watch this video. <laughs> and Dale Earnhardt came by to to get a you know to get some food, and he said something to her like, "Well, that that blouse looks awfully nice on you, young lady," or something like that. And she literally took the took the spoon that she was serving the potatoes with and flung it at him, and the whole cafeteria just goes. <gasps> Everybody just goes silent, and Dale Earnhardt looks down, looks up, and just starts, ah! <laughs> just starts laughing. The whole cafeteria just blows up laughing. And then uh, the the gentleman that came by told me that story, and that was the day he met her, and and the, they got married. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He was the guy that told me about you. Really? Yeah. Oh, that guy. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because I, I I remember that he must have been the guy who left that comment too, because mm -hmm. I yeah, heard that yeah, story yeah. also. Mm -hmm. The arch here. Yep. Gatorade built it. Huh. Ah. They built the new. Or paid for it. Yeah, you can still see the, the Gatorade Victory Lane thing here. I found a picture of Matt Kenseth at the, yep. the last cup race here. Oh, yeah. Where yep. all, you know, the car was there and then there's like things sitting and this is, this is That's still here. Race, I have never noticed see? this. And I've been here over two years. I've never noticed that see, Gatorade. See, we had bleachers. That's crazy. We had bleachers back here for the photographers to, to shoot. I remember I've watched some videos of races in the 80s where it was on a platform. Like they drove up onto it a was, thingy. It was. Where was that? It was, you come in right there, you come up, 
it leveled out and then there was the bleachers right back here are there any posts in the ground from where the platform uh, was or like is this platform well, post right here so wait were those the bleachers that that ended up in front of the media center it could be i haven't seen yeah them. and those are the ones i just moved to to look out over yeah. pit road but they'd be, over the they'd road be a course. set of bleachers yeah. here and there was a wall here block wall it's filled in with dirt and they drive up be up on top and these photographers could get a good picture of it because they'd be up the, in the bleachers huh because it'd be that high there was the old fence is, right there is this like block that got painted around it's not there anymore because it kind of looks like yeah, those yeah, stones it looks, it looks to it. yeah this was the gate so that gate that post and that post where the gate was at and the bleachers was right here could that be where it used to be like that line yep, something with like that yeah that yep went back that way yeah, there's a line that's here. Right. That's about right. The yep, that's it. That was the helipad. Yeah. And the very first bay was Dale Earnhardt. And he died. They had a motorhome sitting there with reefs on it. Was it his motorhome? Huh? Was it his motorhome? It was, uh, it's where they parked his motorhome. Oh, so they, the week after Rockingham, or week after Daytona, the Duraloop 400, the Steve Park one. That That's a race I have questions about. Yeah, his motorhome, there was... This was the care center then, and his parking space was the first one. This was the care center? This was the care center. I thought that was the care center over there. This was the care center to start with before that was built. Oh, okay. When Dale died, that, his, that was his right there. The very first first bay, right? See how long it is? Mm-hmm. That was his spot, and they had reefs and flowers on it. Very interesting. So his, his motorhome still came to the track, and I guess... Sure Teresa stayed in it because sure she's did. team owner. Mm -hmm. Jimbo brought it up here, parked it right here. Wow, is that why this power pole has three on it? That's uh, it could be, <laughs> very could be. Scoreboard right yonder was right here. That's the original scoreboard, 1965. The one that's on on the hill up yonder. Oh, really? And uh, and the numbers is out there in the garage area. You take them and you hang them. That's the way they used to do it. They didn't have computers, but it's big old numbers and you hang them. Yeah. Then they come put a computer inside of it and they didn't have to hang them no more. Moved it out yonder. So that thing used that to be... Was sitting right here at that wheelhouse. Do you, the do you think there's any remnants of where it used to stand in the ground? I'm sure it is. That would be cool. I didn't know there's that was that old. Million, Ten million wires out there too, I'll tell you that. So they used the same bore. They just cut holes in it and put right. number, like digital numbers they in it. Right That's crazy. Was this road course here when you got here? Yeah. It was? Rain go carts and motorcycles, and they come in yonder and zoop. Huh. Yeah, the flag stand for this was where that concrete pad is. You think those, are those pads covering the ports where the wires would have come up? It probably is. The septic tank here? Yeah. Oh, shoot, they did. That's it right there. Mm. Ah, uh. you need to pump it out, man. Got <laughs> <laughs> I can I can bleep that out. Yeah. <laughs> right, need to pump it out. What what was that? That was the ticket but ticket. All the drivers had to report right there before they went through the gate. See the gate was right here. Okay. And the only way they could get in, they had to, the driver had to come through here every morning. So the motorhome was right there. So they walked through here and they either come in that fence down there when we built it, or they come through here. Pitchy did a lot here. He redid Pit Road. Made it so Pit Road didn't go that far out. We couldn't get but uh I believe 20, 24 cars from there and they can put them all on there. Oh, is that why the backstretch had pit to begin with? Yep. Okay. And when you said nobody won from the back, I'm like, well, that's weird. I thought they were all up here. But that that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. 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 Huh. Okay, so the, some of the older generation refers to that as the, uh, the bush pits. Yeah. yeah. Some there. of them yeah. did. I'm not even old and I still think of it as bush series. <laughs> like, I don't know what nationwide Xfinity, whatever, it's all, it's, it's That's the Bush series Bush. to me. Pinsky did that. He made all the cars be on the front. That's really neat. He sure did. He, he was a good guy. I tell you that. He excellent work for him. Did you ever deal with him like face to face? He sent me to uh, Fontana. And they took a race here and went to Fontana, I think. And he sent me to Fontana. And uh, I flew out there and I, he had me in a motel room and everything. And I didn't know what I was out there for. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I went and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I just went and took notes what things I saw, you know, that need to be addressed. And Saturday morning, I got off the elevator and there he stood. And he said, Ronnie, I'll ask you something. 
is here's your pencil and paper. He said, I want you to go to troubleshoot. I said, troubleshoot? Fontana, a brand new track. He said, I want you to troubleshoot. I showed him my paper. I had three pages <laughs> already. Right. And he flew in here one day and I gave them to him. He addressed them and he fixed every one of them. Really? He was he was very nice. He was, he, was, he sent me to another track. What was it? Nazareth. Nazareth. Heard of Nazareth? Yeah. He he owned that track. You know, I went to there, seen him clean up stuff. He 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 did a lot for racing. A lot for racing. Sure did. So like Roger bought this place. I'm just trying to fill out this timeline. Roger bought this place. Got to know you, and must have seen how well things ran here. I was like that that Ronnie guy. I'm gonna send him to my other tracks too. He sent me. I don't know why he sent me, but he sent me. And I troubleshooted for him, and uh, I gave him a lot to, to, to deal with, and he he took care of him. It's it's interesting to me too. He come off in his old blue jeans, and he ready to work, man. Roger. Yes, sir. He went out and did stuff too. Huh? He went out and like worked on yeah, things too. He do stuff. Really? He, yeah. He ain't ashamed to do He wasn't ashamed to work. Mm -mm. Not Roger Pierce. No, it's a <laughs> Barry. Yeah, he's somebody I would like to meet and talk to. It's he's like everything nice. Everything about his, everything is like, it's very fascinating to me what he's sure done is. and that continues was, to uh, do. Uh, I don't know if I can get up there. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to get up there. I ain't scared to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I got up, you. <sighs> Yeah. Lord have mercy. All right. What 20 years have done to me? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can see the the age of this difference, like just this wall here. That looks like original. It's original. Is is this the wall? The original wall? Has that ever been That's redone? The original wall right there. You can see what it added on to. Let me show you something. Oh, okay. See here, they poured on top of it. Yeah, I see. Yeah. This is the original. They put a cap on top of it. They had to come out years later and put a cap on did, top of it. Was that because they Cause it wasn't high enough? Huh. So I, I found uh, I found some old uh, blueprints that uh, that say Hamlet Motor Speedway. Really? Yeah. So it, may, it had a different name before it got built. I wonder who built it. Who made them? I, I don't know if they ever got built. Now we're headed out to the boneyard where there's all kinds of old stuff. If you've seen the. Um, the first tour video we did with Jamie, we went back there, but now we're gonna learn a lot about the. We're gonna learn a lot more about what all of this stuff is, what it used to do, where it went, how it got there from Ronnie here, which I'm, I'm freaking pumped. This is this is where all the cool stuff is, if you ask me. See that stuff right there? Yeah. That's what we pulled the whales, pipe to change the pumps. That's what that is. When was the last time you think those got used? Shoot, <laughs> God, I don't know. In the 80s? I think they used it in the 80s one time. How we numbered the grandstands right here? See these things here? Yeah. That's the way we used to number the grandstands. We had to lay them down and spray them. Huh. That's the, that's the way we numbered them. It was concrete bleachers then. It wasn't aluminum. It was an old concession stand. Being moved back here. We put toilets in it. Do you remember when that happened? <laughs> it's still in it. Lord have mercy. When did that happen? In the 80s. So you, you moved this whole building back here and then filled it with toilets? Yeah. In the 80s? What's that pole? That was the old unicow ball set on top of it. Turn one and turn four had two of them. Huh. And we have the unicow ball on it. Here's the ball. Right there it is. But the, they took it. The actual ball? That's the actual ball. Here's, here it is. It broke. Pieces of it. You can see it. It's still got the unicow color on it. Yeah. Exactly. Somebody broke it. Was it a full ball or was it just round, like an orb on both blood. sides? One on that side and another one. There are two of them, one on each side. Huh. Here's part of it. Like that, man. Oh, we're right. 76 on it. Yeah. How's oh, the rest of it? It broke. I wonder if there's enough pieces here to put one of the sides back together. Boy, this thing's huge. Just dragging it out here might have busted it. It sounded like it was cracking when you were just trying to move it around. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Look at this. That tree's just going right through that thing. Yeah. This is the ice beams. We had them at the concession stands, and Danny, Danny would put ice in there for the concession stands to use. Huh. 
That's where that booth, that ticket booth, right y'all see it right y'all that concession stand? Yeah, the one with the with commodes the... in it. Yeah. It comes from the top of that hill over y'all. Really? Yeah. The top of the hill where Center Core is now. Center Core is now. Wow. How'd you move it out here? On a trailer. <laughs> 16 foot trailer. Well, see, you had equipment to do that with. <laughs> was there stuff, was some of that stuff put back here with the intent to maybe reuse it? Oh yeah. We right. saved it. Is this to clean Anytime the track? you throw anything away, you're gonna need it. Is this to clean the track off? Yep, went on a sweeper. <laughs> oh, we need this. Went on a sweeper. One of those sweepers, you know what I'm talking about. Vacuum sweeper. That's what yeah. that goes on. Sweet. I'm gonna rig this up onto something. Be a nice hat. Am I uh, culturally appropriating anything? You look woke. You look good. Uh, I feel woke. <laughs> Turn it over. It'll probably better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We put outside in the, the, the man I told you, charge of parking cars. Yeah. That was his signs he put up outside. Al Moore did that. That's so. We put them out for people how to get on the track and get off. I mean, out the parking, out the Pontiac place. What does it say? Pontiac Country Lounge Catering. Brunch sponsored by AC Delco. <laughs> Actually, a Winston Cup apron. You won't see none of them, buddy. <laughs> Winston Cup. Nice. Is that like from a, one of the souvenir Winston. people? Yeah. Hey. A lot of people use in the concession stand. Here's a dry erase board. Strickland, Gordon, S. Marlin. Yeah. Mast, Earnhardt, R. Wallace, Mark Martin, D. Waltrip. What did yeah. this, what did this, come? what is this? That went to the, that went to, uh, Concession, not the media sun. Ah, uh. that's where they put that on there, and the media could tell you where who qualified, the speed, and all that. It's all wrote down there. Wow, the speed they were going. This is wow, yeah, Jordan. wreck turn four. There right, you go, huh, dude. There's Martin, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice this truck back here. It just needs a carburetor. Really? Yeah, we got it running before. Really? Got a dump on it, buddy. Mm -hmm. Did you used to drive this around? Yeah, that was our, one of our trucks. Bruton didn't take that one. He took the shovel. <laughs> he didn't take the four. The last plate on it is from 04. <laughs> Dude. It's a stick. There's this dude that just sits up there and he hunts. I'm like, really? Is he cool? He's like, ah, I haven't met him, but I heard about him. <laughs> wow, that dude is you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the original 1965 flag stand. Cool. That is. Was it? Is it like the revision of the original? Because it looks like it has legs and then it got extended on to I be taller. I that top up and put canvas on top on it, keep getting rained on. Huh. I had plywood around it and a top on it and everything. I hunted out of it about 20 years, then I just let it go. Built me a condo stand. Huh. Now that's, you see the, it's got the angle iron yep. and then it's got that the round pole. The post. The, the, did you add the post? Mm -hmm. So it was only like six no, feet it was, taller it was, something else on it. it was up higher than that. it was on top of the wall up uh, so it wasn't real high uh, if you guys are into this stuff you better freaking hit the subscribe button because i don't know if you noticed if you've been here already it's getting deeper it's getting more interesting we're digging this stuff up everywhere i don't think either i thought i thought it was just the metal piece yeah. but they this must have survived because they took the whole backdrop and out and redid it after that race so they just didn't bother ripping this off wow. it on? yeah jeff gordon won the cup race uh -huh. in front of this thing That's and matt, picture you got. matt kenseth won the bush race yeah i think that was his first win too really yeah he might want this <laughs> huh cool just made a discovery here Good. this Good. is the other side <laughs> wow Dude, I don't know which side would have been the side that faced the driver. Probably this one because it has the pretty rivets on it. But I don't know. Wow. There's letters behind it too. 
like a U, maybe from like Unical 76 or something. Really? Yeah, under there. Huh. Are they like 3D letters? Yeah, like big plastic letters. Really? That thing is very heavy. Oh, oh they're wired. Oh, they're all wired together. It looks like it. I see the backside of a, the C. This is Unical. Oh my god. Dude. So there's not just toilets in there. Ronnie was wrong. Somebody sent me an email and called me like the Indiana Jones of NASCAR history. And that might be the coolest thing anyone's ever said to me. And I'm actually kind of feeling like that right now because I'm digging up pieces out of here. And I think I'm gonna be able to put this 76 back together. There's some in here. I found a really big piece buried there. I found that one buried over there. I think we're gonna do this. If you're into this stuff, leave a comment. If you know where I could find something cool, send me an email at the email in the description and check and see if you're subscribed because if you're into this stuff, no one else is doing this. It's just us. Well, me right now. Logan is um, visiting family, but yeah. You better check out the original tour video, the video of the vintage cars going around the track, which sounds like freaking Days of Thunder and it's awesome. Um, Mark Martin going around showing us his hometown, his old garage, all that stuff. You know, there's a playlist called Racing History Nerd Zone, and that's where you want to be. I'm glad you're here, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't get to dig through freaking sand in Rockingham, North Carolina, and find an old um, 76 ball sign thing. Also... You can check out stablesandautoworks.com and find the hat and shirt that I'm wearing here. Not the exact one. Yours will be new and clean. But this logo is inspired by Robert Yates Racing. And this one is a uh, Daryl Walter Fluster and Auto deal. So, draw, ins draw inspiration from the past for the present and future. That's what we do here. That's what gets me going. Oh, man. It's got hot out here. It's weird. It's like 33 degrees when I left home today so a little update on the transmission situation it is absolutely blown up i don't have drive and i don't have overdrive i'm gonna have to limp the two hours back to morrisville in second gear so uh we are 32 miles from home and it's still singing you see what i did is i just whispered to this engine i said hey pretend you got put in like a Mastercraft ski boat instead of a Suburban and that's what you're gonna do you're just gonna sing the whole time and that's what he's doing just listen to that thing it's it's past it's still doing it we got about oh I don't know 25 ish pounds of oil pressure which is fine use probably a quarter tank of gas just getting probably 5 mpg right now but we gotta get home Oh, it did make it back. Um, the engine smelled very hot, but uh, that old 335,000 mile 350 didn't let me down. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, if you're new here, that Suburban is going to get this 632 Blueprint big block um, after we put the Escalade back together. I'm still waiting on the converter and the flex plate for Uncle George build with the big block, but we had the transmission that just showed up. Do history stuff, we build stuff. More, it's been more history stuff recently since we've been moving around so much. Now we're actually gonna get settled here and start to build things. Um, it's fun, so actually you can check this out too. The new shop came with uh, bumpers on the wall. This is a Jeremy Mayfield bumper from Kelly Arboro days. Uh, Lonnie Rush truck series bumper, he was actually um, his shop was in here. This was his truck shop in the 90s. And there's a Thunderbird nose. Kelly Arbor Motorsports from uh, Jeremy Mayfield RCA car from the... Uh, these are matched from the same car. So, and that frame table came from Ricky Rudd's shop. We're actually trying to get rid of that. If you know anybody who wants it, um, send me an email, leave a comment, something. Uh, yeah, there you go. Here's your conclusion. Check it out. Check out stableandautoworks.com. Support the channel. Support the things we do. If you want to. If you don't, then it's fine. But it's there if you want it. And look at those other Rockingham videos too if you haven't seen them yet.